But new research suggests when it comes to success, practice only matters so much. A comprehensive new review looked at 88 studies from a wide range of skills. When it comes to performing music, for example, the studies show practice only makes a difference, difference about 21% of the time. And scientists found that practice is even less important for education in certain professions. Dr. Sanjay Jain is a physician and author. He joins us tonight from Washington, D.C. Doctor, welcome. Thank you, John. How are you doing? I'm great. What, what do you make of this study? Well, I thought it was a fascinating study because in 1993 they did a study that actually said practice makes perfect, and we've all grown up hearing that phrase. So this study that just came out actually says, you know, hold on a second, practice doesn't necessarily make things perfect. It's actually not that important. So when I found out about the study, I thought it was pretty interesting because really it, you have to look at what does it actually look at. And as you mentioned earlier, it looked at different metrics such as music, sports, and games, which you can probably get 21% improvement, but in education, only 4%. So I thought that was an interesting part of the study. No, we've heard, we've but talked, there's certain, I was just going to say, you know, we've heard this, uh, this, the, the discussion about ten, it ten, takes 10,000 hours to, to become good at something. And, and it, the real question is, is it genetic? Is it just, is it just genetics at work? And, and the people who have good genes, uh, they're going to be the ones that, uh, that do the things that are great. Well, you know, I wish I had good genes like, uh, you know, LeBron James to play, be a basketball star. I don't have the hands like he has. So <laughs> absolutely, genes make a huge difference in terms of, you know, what type of body habitus you have, what type of height, weight, all that really plays into the big picture in terms of performance and practice. So in addition to this, the genetics, you have to also look at other factors. And when you mentioned the 10,000 hours, I think Malcolm Gladwell mentioned that in his book, Outliers. Yep. So what kind of quality of those what kind of quality you get in those practice hours. So it's really about quality, not just quantity. So are you getting the right coaching and supervision? That's a very important part of your practice. You don't want to develop bad habits while you're practicing. Right, right, but you want I, to practice good habits. I, I mean, I, I can hear the parents out there. And, and, and when my son was younger as well, the, the whole idea of how much activity you want to put them into. Is it nature versus nurture? Do you, know, do you want to, I mean, are we overloading our kids with so many activities that they may never, ever, uh, ever be successful in? Well, I'm a parent myself, and I totally get it in terms of the parenthood. So what happens is that there's a high expectation, especially with parents who put them in all these activities, hoping that they're going to have the next Olympian, next <laughs> professional athlete. And it's really important for parents to kind of temper some of the expectations and look at the positive of these activities. Uh, good fitness, sportsmanship, citizenship, and just camaraderie. So as parents and myself being a parent it's really important to kind of temper those expectations and the whole point of probably introducing activities is a great idea but overloading can be actually very stressful for the child so it's also once you find something that's actually they're successful in absolutely nurture it if they don't really succeed right. in it you don't Take a step back and move on. Right. Maybe the parents need to back off a little bit and uh, <laughs> smell the flowers as well. Uh, Dr. Sanjay Jain, it's good to have you on the program. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. And now for our picture of the day. It comes to us from Minneapolis where the American League shortstop Derek Jeter gave his final curtain call at the MLB All-Star Game. The five-time World Series champion set to retire at the end of this season in New York. Fans and players alike showed their respect with a standing ovation as he was removed in the fourth inning. We'll see you tomorrow night.